What's up guys, my name is Josh, and uh, I kinda wanna talk about headphones like these, the Odyssey LCDXs. They're a very, very nice, very expensive pair of headphones, and they sound wonderful. Um, they're definitely for a specific purpose, whatever, that's for another thing. But I kinda wanna talk about end game headphones, and end game, and kind of what I think about it. Because honestly, I truly think end game is a myth. I think that there's a level of of mediumness that most headphones apply, and then there's the top end of that and the low end of that. And in that top end, you have things that just do certain things different. Um, and a pure example of this, uh, just a solid example, is sometimes you may want really, really wide sound stage, and another time you may want really, really narrow sound stage. And this could go week to week, this could go day to day, etc. And because of that, that makes two variables that you cannot have simultaneously that you may want two different headphones for. And there's honestly nothing wrong with this. But the idea of like an end game headphone, I feel like it's just, it's just kind of tricking yourself. Like you can be happy with a headphone. Like I was happy with 600s when I owned them. I never really wanted to upgrade. I just wanted to hear other things. I didn't think that there was anything wrong. If uh, I didn't end up selling them for new gear, I well, let me preface this by saying that I didn't sell them for new gear because I didn't like the sound. I sold them for new gear because I was trying to make progress on YouTube. But honestly, if I didn't have to make progress and I didn't have to sell old gear to buy new gear, I'd still have 600s. I love the 600 sound signature. And so if I kept it forever, does that really make it an end game headphone? I mean, I guess because you're keeping it forever, but there's, but the way that I view end game is like the end all be all, like the one and only, like if the LCDX was just, the end game headphone, it'd be this headphone and nothing else. I don't need anything else. This does exactly what I need it to do, no matter what circumstance. And I think that that goal is a bit of a fallacy. I really do. I think that there is no such thing as an end game thing. I think, especially when you get into the top end of, of sound and, and mostly cost, you really need to really start to break down the specificity of everything. And sometimes you may want a cleaner sound signature, sometimes you may want bassier, sometimes you may want V-shaped, neutral, mid-range focus, whatever it is. So I think end game headphone isn't really a thing. I think that you could have a set of headphones, just like you could have a set of lenses for a, a camera, or a set of cars in your collection, or a set of whatever it is, a set of watches in your collection. There's not gonna be that one thing or that one piece that is going to be your end all be all. That is not going to be the end. And there's always gonna be something that you may want or something that you hear later down the road, like at a friend's house, at a, an audio event, that's just a little bit better. And then you're gonna desire that or you're gonna desire, desire something that's just perhaps a little bit different. And there's always gonna be that little bit extra that's gonna lead you towards a different path. With the end game thing, the, the way I view it, honestly, is that the end game, if there is an end game, is the actual journey itself. It's the process of trading up, of trading sideways, of even trading down to get something that's just different, that uh, doesn't have kind of the same uh, style and, and tonality that the current product that you have has. And to me, it's really about just taking the next step. It's always about just continuing and continuing and continuing. And the end game is the game itself. It isn't a final destination for me. I mean, death, technically. But now I just wanted to create this real quick because this is purely my opinion. I could be wrong, I could be right. There's no right or wrong here. There's just my opinion and your opinion. And uh, since you know audio is so diversified in opinions, I'd actually love to hear if you have a differing opinion than mine or if you agree with mine. Um, I'd love to know if you think like, uh, and, you know, you can be perfectly happy with one particular thing if you hone down your sound signature enough because maybe you're that specific on what exactly you want and something does it absolutely perfectly. But then I would ask, you know, if you're being honest with yourself, have you ever been there in the past and then heard something that was better? Because I know I've had it. Because like uh, HD 600s, it's like uh, when I heard them, they were mind blowing. That's what got me into being a an audio purist or whatever. And then I heard N1060s and it wasn't that they were better, it's just that they were so different and they did certain things better than 600s and certain things worse. And it was a differing thing. And then, you know, headphone after headphone and difference after difference after difference. And there is no one headphone that does everything that I want it to do. And part of the reason why it doesn't do that is because what I want it to do is fleeting day to day. It's not a consistent goal. And this could just be me. 
And part of this series is just me rambling about things that are just my opinion, my experience and, and what I'm into and my crazy ass head and where it kind of goes and thinks and stuff like that. Uh, but the other part of this is the comment section and the engagement with you guys. And I've seen people ask, you know, are these end game headphones? And the answer to that for me, until I find the end game headphone, if there is one, and I just happen to come across it and change my mind that instant, then the answer is probably going to be no, like there's no end game. Is this a wonderful headphone? Sure. Absolutely. Buy it. But don't expect it to be the final thing you ever purchase. Don't expect it to be, you know, the house that you're going to die in, so to speak. And before the comments say it, no, the HE1 would not be endgame. Purely because what if one day you just want to go mobile? You're going to put straps on that freaking tube amplifier and strap it to your back? Probably not. Well, I mean, you might, but I would hope not. But there are just different applications for things. And it's like, you know, day to day, you might want a sports car or you might want a truck. You might want something that can tow lumber or tow a boat or just be a beater. And then you also might want to have something that you can take care of and polish and clean and really respect, even if it's just a few minutes of the week. Those are my thoughts, crazy as they may be. Um, I'd love to hear your crazy thoughts in the comment section down below. I do new videos every single day. If you're new, subscribe if that sounds interesting. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, which is actually going to be a live stream because this is going to be Saturday when this actually posts. So leave any comments you have or questions you have for the live Q&A tomorrow. All right, guys. Peace.